In this question, an experimenter attempts to carry out a single replacement reaction between solid potassium and a solution of barium iodide. And our goal is to find out if this reaction will take place or not. So to do that, we need to know which is more reactive, potassium or barium. So to find that out, we're going to go to our reference sheet and look at the reactivity series. So we're looking for potassium and barium. So here's potassium and here's barium. So we can see both of these elements are highly reactive. However, there's still an order within there. The reactivity is increasing as we go up this table. So because potassium is higher than barium, potassium is more reactive than barium. So to answer this question, which is more reactive? The answer is potassium. We're then asked to complete the equation to show what would be the products of the reaction. So the first part of the equation contains the same elements each time. We have K, which is potassium, and we have uh, barium iodide, BaI2. And we're trying to predict what will happen next. So we've decided that potassium is more reactive than barium. So as a result, the potassium is going to want to swap for the barium into the compound that the barium is in. So the potassium is going to want to go in instead of the barium. The barium is going to come out. So we're going to end up with a compound containing potassium and iodine. And we're going to end up with barium on its own. So that's going to match up if we look at our options here. With option three, we can see we've got barium on its own and potassium iodide as a compound. Alternatively, if potassium was less reactive than barium, nothing would happen. This wouldn't swap, no reaction would occur, in which case the answer would be option four. In this question, an experimenter attempts to carry out a single replacement reaction between solid iodine and a solution of sodium fluoride. So in this case, we now have two non-metals in our reaction, iodine and fluorine, and we need to figure out which of those is more reactive. So let's head to our reference sheet. We have a reactivity series for metals on the left, and we also have one for non-metals on the right. And again, the reactivity increases as we go up the table. So fluorine is the most reactive, followed by chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So in our question, we're asked about iodine and fluorine. So fluorine up here, that's the most reactive, and iodine is the least reactive. So fluorine is definitely more reactive than iodine. So now we need to choose the correct equation. So let's write out the first half, which we can see down here. We've got iodine and we have sodium fluoride. And we're trying to figure out what will happen. Now we decided that fluorine is more reactive than iodine. So fluorine is gonna to want to be the element that's in the compound, but it's already in the compound. Fluorine's already part of the compound and iodine is on its own. So since the iodine is not more reactive than fluorine, it's not going to be able to replace it in the compound. So actually, nothing's going to happen here. And we're going to have no reaction that occurs. So our choice for our equation is going to be number four. There's no reaction that occurs here.